Hello and welcome to another video of applied regression analysis. Today we're going to do a sample simple linear regression and we're also going to look at a nice feature for some scatter plots that we occasionally want to use called jitter or fuzz. Let's start off by getting our data into our, our environment here. We're going to do another example with jump. This one's going to be using R. So there's two data sets that we want to look at. In a previous lecture, we looked at scatter plots. Let's take a look at a sample scatter plot in this case. So this need fuzz data set is a data set that I created. It looks like it's from some sort of experimental design. We have four observations at x equal one, two, three, and four respectively, and various response variables. If we plot that, the variables in there are just x and y, nothing special there. So if we just plot y against x, we get to see our scatter plot like before. Now in this case, we're actually missing an important detail, but we don't know what that is yet because it's hidden from it. If we look at the data, we can see that when x equals 2, there are three observations at the y value of 1.2 and one observation at 2. But when they're plotted in this way, you can't tell the difference. You can't tell how many there are there. So R has this function called jitter that will add just a little bit of noise to variables so when you plot them over you won't get those dots over top of each other. Let's try that plot again but now we're going to take the jitter of y against the jitter of x and now we see it just puts a little bit of fuzz around them so you can see the real data are still where they were before of course but this allows us to better see the data. This is actually a little bit more jitter than we might like. Maybe we only want to do it in one direction. Like so. And then we can see there's some extra points at each of these places. And if we don't like a particular one, it's all random, so we can try again and see if it uh, frees up anymore. Okay, so that's just a nice little touch on our scatter plot. Sometimes we need to use Oftentimes you have Likert scales or things like that where you have a couple of very coarse, discrete, ordinal uh, variables that you're looking at. Using a jitter on it is a good touch for getting a scatter plot done. Of course, we still want to do our analysis against the raw data itself. For doing simple linear regression, the LM function, and there's a lot you can do with the LM function. If you read the linear models documentation here, we're just going to do a simple linear regression here and show you how to plot that line over top of our scatter plot. In our studio, we go back to the plot of the original data itself, and we wish to take a look at what our line is. So LM of Y versus X. So this is the model specification. Y is a function of X. And there it is. That's the intercept term, negative 0.3625, and the slope of 1.025. Now a nice thing about the way that R's object-oriented nature works with this, you can actually pipe that directly into AB line and it will plot that line for you. The way that AB line typically works is you specify a slope and an intercept. So you set, specify A and B, A plus BX. So we can specify the same thing, 3625 and 1.0225 from above. And that will plot that line. Let's put it on one of the next ones. But when you specify it of an LM uh, argument, it will take those same intercept and slope parameters from the fit linear model. It's a nice touch. We often want to use the output from a linear model for subsequent analyses. There's other things that can be stored there. If you just say LM of Y versus X, you're going to get the fit of the line, but that's all. Like anything else in R, it returns an object, and we can store that into a value. So let's just call it needfuzz.lm is this lm of y, x. And that doesn't show us anything, but now we can print that out. And it shows us what it did before. More importantly, though, is that now we can take the summary of that, for example, and it shows us our statistics about the error terms and things of that nature. And we'll talk more about doing statistical tests with simple linear regression. Once again, we can do a, b line. of that object and it does the same thing. 
So there we've touched on how to use jitter to get a little bit more granularity from a scatter plot where points would otherwise be on top of each other and how to do a simple linear regression in R.